Hello everybody, today I'm showing you how to prepare your walls for tiling. Safety first, here goes nothing. <laughs> so this is the first part of our big bathroom makeover. First we started with hammer and chisel, but after a while we realized that just takes too long and it's um, yeah, back breaking really. And then we turned, you can see it here, we used the chisel insert with our drill. Much faster. That's it so far. That's what I've done. It took me about maybe 20 minutes to do all of that. So the key is that you go right under the tile so the tile lifts out. Be careful and make sure you're wearing gloves because the tiles are sharp. Wear gloves that are a little bit longer. Look, it's already dry, it's not no biggie. That's it, I'm finished. I'm dusty as hell, I sure have a shower now. Um, I show you now how it looks. All the tiles are off. It's a bit dusty in here. I didn't show you continuously uh, what I've done and how I did it. But obviously, you know, you hammer tiles off the walls uh, or you chisel them off the walls. That's not too hard, like, you know. Important is that you stay with that chisel as close to the wall as possible. Get under the tile and when you hear it's getting a little bit hollow and then usually comes that popping sound and the tile most of the times even comes fully off the wall. Here is the last bit I've done around the sink. If the sink has a crack I don't mind because we're getting a new sink in there. The only thing is now we do not know how we mounted uh, that mirror on there before. Uh, I don't want to break it because I don't want seven years bad luck and I need to get rid of all these tiles as well tomorrow because it's already very late on a Saturday as usual. That's it. All the tiles are off. Ready for tiling. No seven years bad luck. I got the mirror off. Yeah, that's the next day. I tried ever so gently and I went in with the hammer and the chisel ever so slightly on the side and it lifted off and because we could not mount that mirror, that mirror was, I don't know, um, a cheapy cheap person. <laughs> so we uh, glued it to the board and we had drilled the board into the wall. Here you see the, the, the wood and yeah, it's the mirror. Yeah, no bad luck so far, unless this falls and breaks now. So I need to remove the tiles now here, and then I need to remove the light, safely and secure, obviously. And the next plan is, I've seen there now that I took the tiles off. Here is the electric wire. So when the sink comes off, because we're getting a new sink as well, I will chisel a new road up here so that the light is finely centered. The whole reason we made this mirror concoction was because of this and it needed to fit somewhere and it looks a little bit crap. So that's why we done what we've done. And the next step is then, so this whole wall will be plastered and this wall by the door will be plastered and this wall to where the slip tiles and the terracotta tiles, this will be plastered. Now, as you all know, plasters are very, very hard to get. So I'm educating myself at the University of YouTube at the moment. <laughs> and look, let's give that a try. It's another weekend. I didn't have much time during the week to do something. And that was probably a good thing because uh, what I have figured then out is 
that the tiling um, glue um, is kind of drying and it's coming off so as it's Friday again <laughs> and I can do most things only at the weekend so I'll go and like hammer out here see there is still tile spacers in there I'll chisel them off and bit by bit maybe I take a little steel brush and flake them off and then yeah here in the corner there's a few things I still need to chisel out so bit by bit I've done a bit during the week but there's still quite a good bit just so tidying up to have this ready then for plastering and for tiling so you can tile over that um, I read through various things um, and also leaflets that I took from DIY stores we should be good even if I leave the flaky thing on but I want to take it off as much as possible obviously uh, we had a bat in the other day I because it was so dusty I had the window open all night and we have bats around here we live in the country so I'll slide in the little picture there comes a trigger warning three two one yeah that little friend um, and his pals they're around the house all the time and around this time uh, before they're hibernating again they're getting a little bit confused and dazed and I end up in the house sometimes. Stay tuned and thanks for watching!